Ladies and gentlemen, we welcome you to our concert this evening on behalf of Dr. Max Matson and myself, Greg Wheeler. We're, we're excited to have you here. Uh, and those people who are out in Streamville land, we're excited to have you with us as well. Um, we've had a great year of performances this year. Uh, two long semesters, and this concert uh, brings the year to an end for, for our big bands. Um, we've, uh, in the beginning of this second semester, we were uh, doing uh, elite hall presentations where we had dinner and dance for three nights, and that last tune was representative of the type of music that folks enjoyed for, again, three full nights of dinner and dance. We look forward to that happening again this next February with our groups. Uh, this, in, this evening, of course, uh, it, we kind of dedicate this concert to a member of our faculty who's retiring, Dr. John Goodmanson. We don't want to focus on him, but we just give him a big round. Yeah. As an educator uh, of jazz and, and just of music in general, he's just been a great man to have around, and again, we dedicate this concert to him. This uh, next tune is a Chick Corea tune called Windows. Uh, it was uh, it's one of the early early tunes of Chick Corea, and uh, I think you're going to enjoy this this great rendition of of uh, Windows by, uh, arranged by Mike Tomorrow.
You heard Savannah and Carlin on that one. Give them a round of applause, please. So I looked high and I looked low to find a piece that kind of reminded me of one of these fine gentlemen that I worked with for the last 15 years here. And uh, I found one. It's kind of a neat ballad, and it's called I'll Be Around. And again, we all this concert's dedicated to some guy, and we don't want to you know, get too heavy on that. But I think you'll enjoy this. I'll Be Around. You'll hear Mason England back there on flugelhorn, and again, Carlin on the piano. I hope you enjoy this, too. Thank you. 
That, that last tune just kind of melts your heart, you know. You go, oh, wow, I've been around. It's just it's a good one. It's a great one. And we, every time we got to play it over in the rehearsal room, it just mm, made my day. It really did. Um, the next tune, Papiro. It's a uh, Michael Mosman arrangement tune. He actually wrote the tune. We're going to feature a couple more of our students. We have T.J. Anderson, the trumpet, and Caleb Portillo on saxophone. Uh, you're going to hear them play. This is a sophisticated, highly infectious mumbo. And I think you'll enjoy this. We always have to do a great Latin tune. This is one of those. Hope you enjoy. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
that was a fun tune. Now we're going to change the mode again here just a bit. And as we do so, we're uh, is a tune written by Steely Dan. And uh, I, I dare ask, how many know Steely Dan? Yeah. How many, how many know Bodhistva? Not as many. So many of you ask, what is a Bodhistva? I'm sure. In the, in the Buddhist, yes, in the Buddhist religion, they have, when people have reached the level of enlightenment, you are one of those. Yeah. And this goes along with, with everyone in life. And so when they reach out and want, want, someone wants to grab you by the hand and take you onward into many good things, Bodhisattva is one of those, and that's what this tune is all about. I hope you enjoy our final tune this evening. And uh, we do have a lot of solos. You can check the program for that one. But you're going to hear these two guys in back of me quite a bit on the guitars. So again, thanks for being a great audience. And uh, we look forward to our future concerts. And you should look forward to the next band that's going to take this stage. Jazz Orchestra will be right out. Uh, again, the USU Jazz Ensemble, Bodhisattva. Yeah.
Good evening, everyone. I'm Dr. Max Matson, and I am the director of the Utah State University Jazz Orchestra. So, jazz orchestra, audience. Audience, jazz orchestra. Thank you all very much for being with us here tonight. We are gonna open things up with a selection from the Count Basie repertoire called The Second Time Around. Thank you very much.
Thank you very much. That was Second Time Around. That featured James Farmer over there on the super quiet piano material. Thank you, James. As well as Mr. Andrew Fowles back there on the Harbin Muted trumpet solo. Next up, we're going to move into the Stan Kenton repertoire. We're going to play a tune called Pegasus. It's a little bit louder, a little bit more intense. Uh, this is going to feature Mr. Ronan Gray back there on the flugelhorn, as well as Bryson Anderson right over there on alto. So enjoy Pegasus from the Stan Kenton Library, written by Hank Levy. Thank you.
How about a hand for Ronan Gray back there on Flugelhorn? <laughs> Mr. Bryson Anderson here on lead alto. So this is a tribute concert to Dr. John Goodmanson, who has been with us for quite some time. I've taught here for 12 years, and Dr. G has been with us, or with me, since I've started here. And this isn't supposed to be the main tribute concert to Dr. Goodmanson, because we are doing that, actually, uh, a week from this Friday. So Friday the 19th of April, please mark your calendar. It'll be over in the Danes Performance Hall uh, with our wind orchestra featuring a bunch of special things that night to kind of celebrate what Dr. Goodmanson has given us. But um, I did want to share one brief anecdote. I told the band, you know, they might want to speak on his behalf, and they all kind of, you know, they were so eager to do it. I'm not going to let them do it because they had so many things they wanted to say, and the, the stories were funny. But I'm going to share one quick anecdote about, about Goodmanson, which I think is pretty funny. So um, uh, Dr. Goodmanson, for the longest time, ran our jam sessions here at the university, and also in town. So like jazz jam sessions, jazz events. He was always the, the, the spearhead the, 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 of all of it. So um, if any of us faculty or some of our students missed some things, he would come find you and tell you about it. Okay, so what did Dr. G always say if you miss an event? I hate music. Yeah. <laughs> so he would ask why we hate music, and it would be kind of, I mean, <laughs> how do you respond to that? So um, my situation was my son, Yuji, my, my, my nine-year-old, who was actually right there. You want to wanna wave, buddy? Put, put your hand up. Thank you. There he is, right there. <laughs> That's right. Okay. Yuji had just arrived. He'd just been born, and we had a jam session that was shortly after his birth, and I was at home with him, and I missed the jam session. So um, it was the following day, and it was in the hallway here over in the, in the music building, and it was just me. I thought it was just me, and it was really early, and I was in the mail room, and I was getting my mail, and I walked out of the mail room, turned around, locked the door, and then from behind me, really loud, why do you hate music? <laughs> and turns around, there, there's Dr. G right there, and I mean, yeah, so formidable if you missed an event. So anyway, please mark your calendar, uh, April 19th, uh, the Wind Orchestra concert, we're going to feature a whole bunch of special things, so please come, please come celebrate Dr. G. So the next two charts we're going to play are kind of in his honor. Uh, we're going to play a tune called Letter From Home by Pat Metheny, arranged by Bob Kernow. And we're also going to uh, finish things up with Monin. We're going to feature Alex down there on baritone saxophone. So please enjoy our final two numbers. Letter from Home, it's a quick ballad followed by something a little bit different than a ballad uh, in Monin from Charles Mingus's uh, library. So thank you very much for being here tonight. Please enjoy Letter from Home and Monin. Yeah, man.
Mr. Chris Williams on guitar, right there. James Farmer, piano. Ella Larson back there on the bass.
Alex Rotlander, right there, baritone saxophone. Ronan Gray back there on the trumpet. Daniel Estes right there on tenor sax. Alex Stoger, alto sax. Last but not least, and not in the program, Skylar Harris back there on trombone. Utah State University Jazz Orchestra. Thank you all very much for being with us tonight. That's all we have, so go home. Enjoy your evening. Thank you very much. <laughs>